Are you confused about your AutoDS orders? Don't worry because you're not alone. In this video, we're going to be breaking down everything from checking your order status and details to diving into order logs, sourcing requests, sample orders, and even how auto order credits work. Not sure what those are? Don't worry because we're going to be breaking it all down for you along with a few other key features. If you're thinking of using AutoDS, this is the must watch guide to mastering your orders dashboard. Let's go ahead and get into it. Now, if you're not signed up to AutoDS just yet, you can go ahead and sign up right now for the special trial period for two weeks for just $1. So that way you can gain access to all of these different features and see if AutoDS is the right fit for you. So what happens after somebody places an order in your dropshipping store and you're already implementing automation with AutoDS? The first thing that's gonna happen is your order is gonna be showing in your orders page. So after you click on your orders page, this is what you're gonna see. So the first thing you're gonna have is the name of your product or the product itself. It's gonna be everything that has been sold. Then you're gonna have the date that it was sold, the order status, the estimated arrival, and a few more icons, which we'll get to in just a bit. But let's go ahead and get started first with the actual product. So if you look over here, you're gonna see the product that's sold. You can go ahead and click into it if you click onto the image, and then you're gonna open up your order details page. So on here, you're gonna have all of the different details for the product that was sold. So here you're gonna have the customer's information along with the order details, as far as the status, the different tags. By the way, these tags are more than anything so that way you can keep track of your analytics on your AutoDS dashboard. This isn't gonna affect anything on your selling channel or anywhere else. Then you have an internal note section where you can add a note to yourself, or if you're sharing your account with somebody else, let's say if you have a virtual assistant, you can go ahead and put a note there so that way they can see it if they need to. Then you have the purchase info. So you have the buy order ID, the buyer account, the buy price, the taxes, the fees, the tracking number, and the shipping carrier. This information down here, the purchase info, you're typically not going to be changing this. The only reason that you do wanna change this is if you're doing things manually, but that's for a completely different video because today we are going over everything that's automated. Now, besides that, if we click into the product section over here, you're gonna have more information on the product itself. So you're gonna see the supplier, the warehouse that it came from, the buy URL. So if we go ahead and actually click this and then we simply just paste it to our browser, it's gonna take us to the product that we're selling. Now, again, the information here also, you can change if you want. If you wanna change, let's say your supplier for this particular product or for this order. But again, you don't really have to do that unless you're doing things manually. Now, besides that, you also have this option here for a sourcing request. So if we click on this, it's gonna take you to the sourcing request that I had already placed for this particular product. But pretty much what a sourcing request is, it's simply a request that sends out to AutoDS to look for more suppliers that are selling the same exact product. So that way you can have multiple options for suppliers and multiple different products with different shipping speeds. So that way you can see which one is best for you and which one is best for your store. Some products might be cheaper, some products might ship faster, so it's good to have different options. Now here you can see that I already did submit my sourcing request and this is what I received back. So if this is a better deal for me, if I do like this more, I can just click on link product and then going forward, whenever any orders are placed for this particular product, this is the supplier and the product that's gonna be shipped out. So now let's go back to our orders page where we're gonna have a bit more information. Now, obviously this right here is pretty obvious. It's the date that the order was placed, but then you see a few different color codings, right? Here you have a shipped, you have pending ordered, shipped, delivered, canceled, and request returned. So this is pretty much all going to be automatically updated as your order is updated. So for the most part, if you just jumped onto your orders page as you just got your order, it's gonna be under pending. Now, pending simply means that the order is just in your orders page, nothing has been done. The order for the product itself hasn't been placed, whether by you or by the system. We'll get to that in just a second, by the way. Then you have ordered. This means that the product itself was already ordered from the supplier and it's been paid for. It's just waiting to be shipped. Shipped means that the supplier shipped out the product and already provided us and the system with a tracking number. Then we have delivered, which of course means that the product was delivered and canceled, which means that the order has been canceled, whether by you or by the customer. Now on the section right next to it, you have the estimated arrival. So this tells you when it was delivered or when it's expected to be delivered. And then you have a couple of different icons. So for one, you have the completed by the fulfilled by AutoDS service icon. This is gonna appear if you're using fulfilled by AutoDS. What is fulfilled by AutoDS? Well, fulfilled by AutoDS is just one of the two different automatic fulfillment methods that we offer through the AutoDS platform. The first one is gonna be simply automatic orders. So what's the difference? Well, automatic orders and fulfilled by AutoDS work kind of the same way, except the fact that when you're using the automatic orders by itself, no fulfilled by AutoDS, 
that means you're going to be using your own buyer accounts. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to over here under your settings, and then you're going to go ahead and click into the buyer accounts over here. And then you're going to click add an account here. You're going to go ahead and create your or sign into your Amazon account, your AliExpress account, your DHgate account, all of your different accounts that you use for your suppliers. Again, AliExpress, Amazon, DHgate, Banggood, whatever suppliers you're using. So that way, whenever you get an order, AutoDS is going to go ahead and sign in to those accounts and it's going to place the order on your behalf. Now, what's the difference between that and Fulfilled by AutoDS? Well, Fulfilled by AutoDS is also going to sign into your supplier accounts, except it's not going to be using your buyer accounts. It's going to be using the AutoDS buyer accounts, which in turn actually is a little bit safer with certain suppliers, especially Amazon, because Amazon, let's say, they don't like dropshippers too much. They don't like people sending their products to multiple different people because then they'll think that you're reselling their products which we technically are, and they don't really like that. So what they do is they ban your account. But if you're using Fulfilled by AutoDS, they can't ban your account because AutoDS has multiple accounts with Amazon and they're all Prime ready. So you also get faster shipping. Now, besides our completed by Fulfilled by AutoDS service icon over here, we also have the internal note. We can click on that and add a note ourselves if we want to. And then we have the three little dots, which are the more options. Here we have edit order, edit product, or create a ticket about the order or request sourcing. So edit order and edit product that we already saw because we simply just click into the product itself or the order itself. And then we'll see it here. We have the order and the product. We already went over that, but then we have the create a ticket about the order. So if there's any issues that you have with the product itself or with your order, you can go ahead and create a ticket and somebody from our support team will be getting back to you pretty soon in order to address this and make sure that everything is good with you and your customer. And then we have the request sourcing. So you remember how I showed you earlier that I had already requested sourcing for a different product? Well, this is another way that you can do it. So you can click over here where it says request sourcing. By the way, this only works for products from China. This is going to cost you an auto order credit. But the cool thing about this is that it's only going to cost you an auto order credit if you request it anywhere outside of the orders page. So let's say you're looking through our handbrake product section or you're looking through a different page on our system and you request sourcing from there, it'll cost you a credit. But if you do it from the orders page, it's actually free. It even says it here. So sourcing requests from our orders page for your existing orders. So you already need to have an order for that particular product are free and faster because you do get prioritized requests. And typically these requests will get back to you with a few different options to choose from within a couple of minutes. So if we do want to do that, we can go ahead and click on process sourcing request or review existing orders. So we can see all of the other options that we have for the products that have already been ordered. So all you have to do from here is just simply click on process sourcing. Next up, we have the sourcing request tab. Obviously we just spoke about that, but this is another place that you can do it. So here you're also going to have the request sourcing, and then you're also going to have the review sourcing and the status of the sourcing request. So the one we just did, the car power inverter is currently in progress. And then when it's ready, we can go ahead and review our sourcing requests and see which ones are better for us. So I just clicked into it and this is what it looks like. Currently, this is the only one that has showed up so far. But in a few minutes, we are going to have a few more options. Now, next to that, we have our tracking number. Then we have our item ID. We have the buy and the sell over here. The buy, this is where you're sourcing your products from. So if we click on it, it's going to take us to the AliExpress page that's selling our product. Or if we're sourcing our products from the AutoDS handpick product section, it'll take us there. Or if we're ordering from Amazon, it'll take us there. So this is another product that I have on my store. And if we click into it, you can see that it's it takes us directly to the page on Amazon. Now, if we do the same thing for our sell page or the sell icon down here, then it's going to take us to the page where we're selling the product on our store. Now we have our buyer username. This doesn't always appear. Sometimes our buyers don't have usernames, but that's okay. We have the quantity that was ordered as well. Then we have the DAS or the days awaiting shipment, our customer information, such as their name, their address, and then the store that we're selling our products on our price. We have the buy price and the sell price, the profit that we can make from this product itself or from the sale, the fees and taxes. These are typically added automatically depending on your platform. This should already be set up on your, on your part. So you don't have to worry about that. And you also have the order ID. So the buy order and the sell order, and then the different tags. Now, as far as our orders page, that's pretty much everything that you need to know here. So let's talk about the auto order credits. Now, the auto order credits is something that you're going to have to have in order to actually use the fulfilled by auto DS and the automatic orders. Here, we can simply click on buy credits. Now, if we click into it, we're going to see that we can buy 250 credits for $79. That's typically the most popular. But if we do increase how, how many we want to purchase, it does become cheaper. 
So let's say 500 credits is 130. So you are going to be saving a few bucks. Now, next to that, we have the customized display. This is actually pretty cool because you can customize the display of everything that you're looking at on your orders page. So if you want to move any of the things around, all you have to do is click on the name and just drag down. And then you could just go ahead and arrange it the way that you want. If you want to just click on update, it will update it and set it the way that you have everything here. Then you have an export button over here. So you can export all of your orders into a single CSV file. Now, another thing that's pretty important here is going to be this up here, which is your balance. So your balance is what's going to be used for your fulfilled by AutoDS orders. Now, if you're using fulfilled by AutoDS, you're going to need to top up this balance. You can simply just click on load and they can choose your amount and your payment method. You can choose either a credit card, you can also choose PayPal or Payoneer. Personally, I go with Payoneer because Payoneer actually has the cheapest fee, it's only 3%, but at the end of the day, it's not that big of a difference, it's only 2%, but ultimately it's up to you. Now, if you're not using Fulfilled by AutoDS and instead you're using the automatic orders, then in that case, in the auto orders page, what's gonna happen is that you're also gonna have your credit card details. So whenever an order is placed, those credit card details are gonna be what's used to pay for the product itself. Automatic orders pretty much uses all of your information, whereas Fulfilled by AutoDS is gonna use all of AutoDS's information. Okay, so now let's talk about returns really fast because I know this is a huge thing that a lot of people ask about. When it comes to returns, it's gonna depend on how you placed your order or, or how your order was placed through the system. If you have automatic orders turned on, and you're not using Fulfilled by AutoDS. So if you're using your own buyer accounts, what you're gonna need to do is simply go to your buyer account on AliExpress or on Amazon or whatever the supplier was and request a return through there. So you're gonna be taking care of the returns through your supplier. Now, if you're using Fulfilled by AutoDS, that's gonna be something different. In this case, what you can do is you can come to your orders page and then we're gonna simply look at the order status. So this one that shows delivered, just click on request return. Within 24 hours, if the return was approved, if we're still within the return window, you're gonna have another icon right here, right next to the completed by fulfilled by AutoDS service. That's gonna have the return label. It's also gonna be in your email, but from there you can go ahead and forward that to your customer so that way they can send the product back. All right, so now the last thing that I wanna to talk to you about is gonna be the samples orders. This is something new to AutoDS that a lot of people have been really, really asking for. And the reason I'm putting it in this video is because at the end of the day, it's going to end up coming to your orders page, right? Let's say you're looking through the marketplace. Let's say you're looking through here and you find something that you like. Let's say this marry me LED sign. It's actually pretty cool. Here, once you click into the product page, you're going to have two different options. You have import draft, which will import it to your draft section, and you have the create sample order. So here we can go ahead and create sample order, select the store that you wish to do the sample order for. If you only have one selected, then don't worry about it. It's going to be by default. And then it takes you to this sample order page. Now here you're going to be paying the sourcing price. So you're going to be paying obviously cheaper than what you sell it for. You can choose how many you want to order. You can choose a different style. And all you have to do here is put in your information or even your customer's information, because let's say you're ordering a sample for an influencer. You can do that directly through this page as well. So it doesn't have to necessarily be a sample for you. It could be a sample for anybody. And then you have the advanced settings down here, which gives you a bit more information on the tracking and the maximum shipping days and the maximum buy item price. So pretty much what this means is that the tracking conversion, this is something that you can set up, which I'll show you in just a second for all of your order orders. Whenever you get a tracking number, that isn't FedEx or DHL or UPS or USPS, it can convert it for you. So here you can convert all tracking numbers to QTrack with zip code masquerade, which pretty much covers the zip code and it makes it and it makes the system think that it's a different one. Or you can convert Amazon shipping carrier only to QTrack. This is usually the one that I would go with, especially if we're ordering from Amazon. And you also have a couple of other options. So you can convert your Amazon shipping carrier to Blue Care Express or to QTrack, or you can even generate a UPS, FedEx, or DHL tracking number, so that way the platform that you're selling on accepts that tracking number, assuming the fact that they don't accept Blue Care or QTrack or any of these other ones. Then we have the max shipping days. If you do want a bit more information on some of these different sections, you can hover over the little question mark, and it'll tell you a bit more information on that particular part, just in case there's something that I'm going over that you don't understand fully. But pretty much what the maximum shipping days is, is the total number of days that it should take for the product to reach your customer. And then we have the maximum buy price. So pretty much what this is, is the most that you'll pay for this product. So if your supplier increases their price by $1 and this goes to $13.98, then it's not gonna be purchased. The order for this will fail and you can just redo it manually or just accept it uh, manually. And 
That's pretty much everything that you need to know about the AutoDS orders page. If there's anything in this that you want to learn a little bit more about, if there's anything on the system that you want to learn more about, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you smash that like button because we are coming out with a lot more videos on the different features to make sure that everything is clear for you. Huge thank you once again to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. My name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch you all next time.